Boom. Here we go. It's Fantasy Poland Monday, baby. Uh, okay, so let's see. I've got boat to Skellig. I don't want to go to Skellig yet. Uh, inventory. Oh, uh, I wanted you to take a look at this. So it's plus 48 Ooh. damage. But it's only got what? one it's only got one slot. Sure, but what's your current one? Patton. Can you go over to your other sword and hit the compare button? Uh let's see. Okay. Trigger. Yeah. No. Nah, that the forty-eight, the plus forty-eight damage one, that is just better. Okay. In in, I mean, it doesn't have that the really cool. Uh, and what I would recommend is, uh, don't sell that weapon. Dismantle it so you can get those stones back. I mean, because you have a you have like a a pretty significant stone on there, right? I think so. I mean, I've got a uh, lesser Svarog Devana runestone, Triglav runes. That that. And right. armor piercing is definitely worth wanting to dismantle it to keep. I mean, I've got 20 armor piercing right there. Oh, well, then in that case, you can get rid of it. So should I put that into the silver sword? If you want to, sure. Uh, well, not... So I would recommend putting uh, armor mm. piercing on steel weapons when you mm. have the ability to. Because monsters don't uh, Because wear monsters armor. don't usually wear armor. Wow. I put like a three percent chance to freeze or poison or stagger. I like bleed. Power. If you if you have bleed, uh, I've got a three percent to cause burning. Three percent to but burning or bleed is is good. Yeah. Those are both uh, uh, damage over times. Burning it is. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, quests. Yeah, cool. All right. So I still got Pyres of Novigrad, but that's in Novigrad. Uh, I don't really care about the races. See what the counterfeit Pasteller's brother-in-law needs. I still need to go do the other Fists of Fury. Uh, the Novigrad You're definitely Novigrad. leveled up to the point where you could do the fake papers one. Okay. Because that, that's just defending a group of guys against... Uh, Ghouls. Mm -hmm. Treasure hunts. Novigrad, Novigrad, Novigrad. Yeah, I mean, like, otherwise, outside of that, so I'll do the... See what the dude wants, right? Take paper. Uh, oh, you, you haven't... You haven't done the volunteer yet? So even though that one says Novigrad... Uh, Excuse me. It's actually going to take you to Oxenfurt. Uh, I don't know what that means. So if you go to your map. Map. Uh, so map. scroll out. Yep. Uh, yeah, go north east a little bit. North east. Oxenfurt yeah, to Hunter. the right, to the right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Novigrad is that big city up to up to the north, that really huge one up there. Uh, Oxenfurt is that smaller city in the middle of the river. The one that says Oxenfurt where, Harbor. Yeah, that's where you'll end up going during that quest. But the place where you'll actually end up is you see to your l left of your cursor. Mm -hmm. uh, where you have that blue marker. Mm -hmm. If you go straight left... The first question mark you run into, Oop. that should be where uh, where the volunteer is. Okay. Well, I mean, we got to go over that neck of the woods anyway. It looks like we got a couple quests there. Uh, I was just mostly hitting all of these little question marks that I could find. Did yeah. I pop around here yet, or is that all expansion stuff? Uh, it's not expansion stuff, but it's high level stuff for the most part. Okay. So should I then make my way up north and do uh, do all that? Yeah. That schnaz? Yeah. Dope. Uh, let's do it. Let's uh, 
can fast travel to. I don't remember if I tried to get that one or not. Uh, yeah. Fast travel that to question the... mark you can definitely get for sure. That one? Uh, like all, all of the ones that are kind of in the middle area of the map are going to be low level enough for you to handle all right, at well 14. Then, then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bop my way over to that, uh, first custom marker and, uh, hey, hey, oh, and make my way there. So, welcome back to Fantasy Poland Monday, everybody. Uh, we are, uh, we are Fantasy, we are Poland, we are Monday. Uh, Tom is back in the saddle uh, with me. Uh, the uh, uh, the Nilf Guardian blinders to my roach uh, to help keep me upon the proper path. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of this game to go through. Eventually, we'll teach you what compass directions mean. I mean, it's east and it's east and west that always screw with me. I'll tell you that much right now. Like, you can tell me, like, yeah, you know, go go east, and I'll be like, uh... Right? Yes, right. Would it help if I said port and starboard instead? Uh, no, I am also not a, not a nautical <laughs> man at all. <laughs> one might think, one might think, oh, port. Uh, no, um, I mean, I know my left from my right, and I think I'm honestly doing pretty well at just that. Um, granted, that's kind of all I have to go with. Uh, a fun story, though. My father is dyslexic uh, and uh, has the same kind of uh, kind of issue with uh, as I do. Except east and west make perfect sense to him. Right and left, sometimes no. Uh, so you we just would... hold up your hands in the one that's an L, which doesn't work if you're dyslexic. You hold up your hands, and they're both L's. <laughs> so, uh, so growing up, we used to have to uh, we used to have to give him directions in terms of uh, milk hand or sandwich hand, <laughs> because <laughs> because uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't tell him. Oh no, it, it's to your to your west, and uh, he couldn't tell me is that left or right. Uh, so. We still do that occasionally. But yeah, I am. Uh, as, as I think we previously discussed on this uh, uh, on this channel, I am one of those rare millennials that actually gets along uh, really well with my father. He's a great. Okay. So this this little island that you're heading oh, yeah. towards that you're uh, that's like your mind to look at your stuff your target at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a bandit camp. So I can uh, mm -hmm. I can sell this. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna run into a bandit camp uh, that's. Um... That's like on a little island surrounded by like a palisade. I think I need. Oh yeah, mandrake root. You you will need for some stuff later on. Uh, let me. While I'm at it, let me do a quick uh quick alchemy. Check. Farewell. I found I found some of that stuff for the uh. uh Alcohol oils. Let's see. I need ergot seeds. Ergo seeds. Ergot. Ergot. Uh, and then I need some air hide, bison grass. Oops. Close you. Yes. A bear hide, bison grass. Uh, I need to make the draconoid oil first. And some that, mistletoe that, for relics. The, ar the arenas, the A R E N I A. Arenia. Um, whatever you call yeah. They, uh, like a lot of those things, those it simple, like flowers stuck. and whatnot, you can find them from an alchemist. Um, and I, 
I know there's like multiple alchemists in Velen. If you kind of go and yeah. look at the um I I have seen them. I don't need any of for Go buy your empty bottles. Thank you. Berber came. Okay. Farewell. Yo. Uh Keep on keeping on. This be the witchman. Freak This be the witchman. A freak of nature. Yeah. Freak your lady. Okay, is this the... Boy, Talk to these bandits? Oh, look. We got ourselves a customer. I'm not about to buy anything from you. I'm sure I'd call oh, you a customer. Afraid you're mistaken. If we're to let you pass, uh -oh. you gotta pay. And if I don't, <laughs> then you die. Hmm. Do we be politic? Uh. Do we go? You, you do see this medallion, right? Like you see the cat eyes, the scars, the fact that I've got two swords. Fact that I'm an out of work hot topic manager. I, I I mean, you don't get any extra XP for killing dudes, so it it, it all depends yes, on how you feel. They are bandits, so like, Gaffer. Gaffer. screw them. Shut but it, soul back. I now I see it. Yeah. We didn't mean no. Recognize the guild. I master. Forgive us for not remarking on it earlier, mm -hmm. please. Go away, you're bad for the community. Now listen. Might pass through again someday. Don't know when. But when I do, I don't want to run into you. Is that clear? As a summer's day, my lord. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why don't you go? Path. Hmm? Why don't you go? Gaffer, Gaffer. Was it now, Solbeck? Gaffer, he's a witcher. Solbeck. What? <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Dude, 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 dude. Guy's a witcher. Yeah, that's that's the entire point of everything he just said to us, Sobek. Thanks, thanks for joining. Be back from your lunch break. Alright. We got three people watching. How you guys doing today? What up, folks? How's the rest of your day been, Tom? Outside of uh, playing Borderlands with me for a truly irresponsible amount of time. Well, I I ate some excellent. Well, uh, let me let me rephrase that. I ate a gigantic pile of excellent food. I Ooh. had two huge bowls of uh, pasta and meat sauce. Nice. Um, and no, then uh, sword, Jerry. Did I pull out the right sword? Yeah, steel weapon. Okay, we're good. Jerry. Dark Souls. Oh, Tom and I, Tom and I were discussing uh, just a little bit before the stream. Uh, I have, just so that everybody is, is aware, uh, one of the things that people have suggested most is that I play Dark Souls 3. Um, and, uh, I mean, I got it. Uh, it was on the Steam sale, as it uh, apparently usually is. I, I yeah, pretty much ev every big one. I cut that guy's head off so hard his hair disappeared. Wow. There you go, buddy. Okay, so go to Klavich to get uh get whatever that that guy's offering. But um uh, yeah, so I have played Dark Souls. Uh, so you cut the tail end of your Borderlands and made mac and cheese, substituted pasta for northern white beef, so protein and fiber instead of carbs. Sounds pretty good. Uh, I will occasionally get into just like man, I'm gonna make myself some pinto beans with some, with some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna go through a Taco Bell and get some of their uh, some of their mild sauce, and that is continually delicious. I don't 
I use different hot sauces on everything else that I cook, but pinto beans I'm, and mild sauce. Ooh. I'm pretty sure if you go to HEB, I think they carry Taco Bell mild sauce. Hey, that just means I no longer have to go to Taco Bell ever. But, uh, yeah, uh, so I have played, but quote on air quotes, like big, whoop, whoop, played Dark Souls 3. I died twice on the tutorial area, where it's telling me how to move, as uh, it says, hey, here's how you run, and then some guy came up and stabbed me and killed me. Um, so this is perhaps a uh, uh, an indication of how things are going to go. In the Okay, so that was the bandit. Now it's up four fake papers. Right. We do this, uh, this one right here, this undiscovered location. Oh no, we go into Dragon Slayer's Grave. Yeah, that one works. Go yeah. go to that one and then swing north. Yeah. Uh so uh you know, we uh I have gotten to the first boss. And then over the course of about an hour and a half, not uh not continuously, but after like, okay, I'm I'm done with this for the day, and then me trying again and again and again, about thirty minutes at a time. I still have not beaten the first boss. And while I yeah, understand I, I, that that's kind of the point, I would be hard pressed to say that I consider that remotely fun. I I was telling John before the stream, like I am a I, I wouldn't call myself like GUD good at Dark Souls or anything like that yet, but I played quite a bit of it at this point, and I can't even beat Udex Gundir, the first boss. Yeah. Like he's he is tough. Uh, he's very fast. He hits very hard. Uh, the only kind of like saving grace he has at all is that his moves are very predictable, uh, and he only has like three of them. See, I I find even that suspect because the predictable moves like cover half the screen, and he can apparently just sort of decide to like juke where he's going to hit at the last moment. So. I have found them less than predictable. Let's uh, do some CSI. Mm. Bird Uh So, you know, uh, I don't know. I like. I would just kind of consider that maybe like the the opposite of fun. Uh, you know, you get those. Uh, I, I mean, I, I know some people in my life that, uh, that I wouldn't have to pay to, like, come over to my house and, uh, kick me squarely in the balls. They do it for free. Because of our shared history. Uh, and even at a discounted price, I did pay 15, you know, $15, uh, the equivalent to just get digitally kicked in the balls. So... I, I think what what I might do as a a favor to you at some point is uh, come over my house and kick one, me in the balls. No, thank you. <laughs> once I once I learn how to beat Udex Gundir, I will come over and beat him on your system so you can get past him. Because like seriously, there are other bosses in that game that are like way easier to take down. There, there's a boss in the game that you don't even technically fight, like. If you actually Wait. try and fight this boss, uh, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you have to outdance him. So it's uh, it's a wyvern, and the it's less of a boss fight and more of a hazard arena, hmm. where your goal is to avoid being killed by the wyvern, circle up around behind it, get up on the top of this broken bridge and then you jump off the top of it, land on the back of its neck, and stab it and you want to tickle, You want to tickle its ear. Oh, a garden treasure. Let me paste. There. Come on. Hello, bear. 
Overton sword. Yeah, and breakdance fighting. Like I I would love it if it was like like you don't have to fight this boss. That's not how the how the you know how the mechanic is uh, is designed. Uh you do have to like go to the uh I didn't say uh you do have to go to the Bears improv show and you know like you know hang out for a little while, because you promised the bear that you would one. I'd love more, I'd love more mechanics like that. Like, if you're trying not to get killed by the wyvern, you have to, uh, cook the wyvern a nice dinner. Uh, you've been working on your pasta carbonara. You know, really, really get that life experience of, uh, of the things that should terrify you. The greatest enemy. Uh huh? Uh huh? You jump? Yeah. Go, Jerry. Okay. What else is news, Tom? What's good with you? Uh, so Orpheus character creation went fairly well. Yeah. Um. So this is like our our current loadout for the um oh, it looks like you're gonna be fighting some bandits oh no oh yeah bandits um but yeah so uh we have uh norman finster uh who is a uh a um like former punk rocker uh, like a, a local, I, I would say like local, regional California celebrity, um, who all of his near death experiences come from doing stupid punk rock stuff like drug overdoses or attempting to jump off the fifth story uh, balcony of a hotel into the pool and totally biffing it right into the concrete, like stuff like that. <laughs> um, so, uh, he is a phantasm, and he's our party's resident sleeper so far. The only the only sleeper we have. You may want to uh, uh, may want to give a, a quick layman's. Uh... Yeah. So uh, for people listening from home, Orpheus is a uh, World of Darkness game uh, by White Wolf. Um, it's kind of a, a spin-off game. Uh, if anyone is familiar with Wraith the Oblivion, uh, it was a spin-off created after the Wraith line died. Uh, and in Orpheus, you play employees of a company that has figured out how to temporarily turn people into ghosts. Uh, okay. whether, they, whether they are uh, frozen cryogenically or they learn how to uh, astrally project through meditation. Um, if you look at those white flowers, uh, second row, third column, oh. those are the Araneas. Um, Do that. Got anything line. interesting? Oh. You have like no money. What did you spend all your money on? Repairs, probably. Okay, let's see. Look, Doyle, I need missile.
Pism grass? Let's see if this guy has it. Because the superior stuff you said is like tough to get, right? Yeah, all of the superiors require, require you to make a alchemy. Yeah. Or a different kind of chemical. Um but yeah, so in, in Orpheus, uh like most World of Darkness games, ghosts have types. Uh, so the type of ghost that uh, uh, Norman Finster is, is a phantasm, which phantasms are all about creating illusions. Um, they also can, like, enter people's dreams, things like that. Uh, the next character we have is uh, Li Yang, uh, who is a uh, Buddhist monk from Hong Kong. Uh, his near-death experiences all come from uh, uh, torture and abuse at the hands of the Chinese government uh, as a democracy protester in Hong Kong. Well, fun. I mean, um, it's not called World of Fluffiness. No, it's... Indeed. Uh, so in his background, uh, one of the key things is his mentor, like the one of the monks that he studied under, uh, appeared to him as a ghost, like manifested before him, before he started working for Orpheus, and told him that something was very wrong with the ghost world. He couldn't explain it because he didn't understand it himself, but that something was very, very wrong. Uh, and he's running in the game with uh, uh, Destiny 4, so he's going to be a very... Uh, important figure in the future of the world in Orpheus. Got anything mm. interesting. Uh, and then our last character is uh, Valerie Jones. Uh, she is a, a former South African uh, like field expedition leader. So like uh, safaris and like uh, mountain climbing trips and all that sort of, uh, you know, outdoorsy nonsense uh and she um has a like long history of uh near-death experiences from like fell off the side of a mountain or you know got knocked out of a boat during whitewater rafting and nearly drowned and stuff like that um what happened yeah she is oh why, uh, I, I forgot I to mention why I don't go outside uh so both she and uh, Lee are both um, Wouldn't mind a look at uh, skimmers, which means they've been trained to use uh, astral projection in order to become a, a ghost. Um, Lee is our group's banshee, uh, which are pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Uh, they have uh, screaming powers, and also they uh, can like see the future. They can act as like omens. Um, well, like my cats. Your cats can see the future? I mean, they know exactly when I'm about to step somewhere. That is true. They have to know how to get right underneath your right feet. Right underneath my feet. All right, let's see. Oh, you can sell a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, but I, like, I need to keep that bear hide. Yeah. But you can sell the ladder and all your other yeah. hides that are there. Uh, um, I'm, will I need a white wolf hide for alchemy later? No. Uh, but, um, Valerie is our group's, uh, haunter. So haunters, uh, possess, um, objects. Uh, they can, like, possess a building or possess a car, something like that. Um... We're supposed to have, we're definitely going to have one more player. I would like to have a fifth, uh, but the fourth player was not able to make uh, our right. character creation session on Saturday, so I couldn't uh, couldn't make his character yet. Yeah. Um, but on, uh, uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get a fifth uh, because I, I would like to have a group of five for the game. So hopefully uh, uh, this has been an interesting view into the uh, beginning inner workings of uh, starting an RPG campaign, which all of you should do if you haven't done it in a while. 
Yeah. Oop. Oh, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad the character creation went well. Yeah, it, w it went really well. Uh, so, um, two of my players are actually like still in the process of making their characters. They took copies of the uh, the player's guide that I made home so that they could look through the uh, merits and flaws because <laughs> the merits and flaws section of uh, any World of Darkness game mm -hmm. uh, tends to be a little bit ridiculous, but also in addition to the merits and flaws that the Orpheus book has, I also added all of the merits and flaws from Hunter the Reckoning, which is like 30 pages. But they're, in my opinion, they're the best way to make your character more human because you could take a, a one point flaw, bad credit rating. Like, that's a thing. So you're not immune. I mean, if oh, you're no, if you're uh, born like after a certain point, uh, it no should just be automatic. Me. It's just well, no illness ever holds me. Yeah, dude, you're a mutant. Uh, okay. I don't want to burn this dude's wagon. How the spell happened? How did this happen? Axel snapped first. Uh, so, in truth, I don't think I've encountered this guy. So, oh, so we're we're in uh, we're in undiscovered territory here. The, the the likelihood of digital Neepnorps is low, but I can't say zero in this game. I, mean, I would subscribe to this guy's OnlyFans. Your horse run off. Look at him. Bolted. Ain't that my luck? If it don't rain, a wagon of stiffs pours on me head. And a stiffs pours on your head, huh? <laughs> Okay. Need to figure he's, out the card yourself. He's got to go. You've helped me greatly all the same. Thanks again and Godspeed. No, to find that daft horse and get the stiffs back on the wagon. Man. We don't we don't begrudge a hard working fella. You know, he's out here. He's out here trying his best. He says it's his job and he's well paid for it and uh what what did he say was it's corpses in the wagon? Yeah. Oh, that's that's definitely why it attracted ghouls. Yeah. I mean, like he's uh, you're on your own on that, my friend. I am uh, I am not a wagon repairman, but. Uh... I mean, you basically gave him the warning of like they they attract ghouls, and he was like, "Yeah, but this is my job." Mm -hmm. At that point, it's you know. Drug. Yeah. Okay, dude. All right, man. All right. It says he's paid well for it too, so apparently it's valued labor, and uh, he seems to own the means. So, who am I? Solidarity with the working class is the uh, uh, is the true moral of The Witcher. That and don't be a bad father. So I heard that uh, uh, one of my friends uh, that I was telling, yeah, I play The Witcher every Mondays, was like, oh, what uh, uh, what ending are you going to go for? And I was like, of course there are multiple endings. I, I don't know, the one where I find the kid and everything's cool, like... Oh, oh no, no, that's not, that's not really a thing. <laughs> I mean, like... You mean you're you're, going, really you're going to find Siri well before the end of the game. Yeah. Like eight hours before the end of the game, you'll find Siri. Yeah, and I want us to be cool enough that she like, you know, gets me a Father's Day card. Like whichever ending gets me that. Can I can I give you a hint? Sure. When you take her back to the emperor, uh -huh. don't accept his payment. Okay. Tell him that you don't want his money. Okay. Because otherwise, uh, Siri stands there and watches as the emperor counts out the gold coins that, that he's paying you for her. Uh... And uh, the, yeah, the, it, the emperor uh, the look. The Emperor's her father, right? Like, biologically, like her biological dad. 
Yes, but Geralt is her father. Yeah. New crafting diagram. For a sword. And uh, a potion. Enhanced Maribor Forest. Oh, let's uh. Oh, you you have okay. skill points, by the way. Why? Yeah. Hang on a sec. Go on to catch the potion. Enhanced Maribor. I need Maribor Forest. You need Ducal or uh, yeah, Maribor Forest. Oh, so you you don't even have the you don't have the um the basic nah. uh version yet. Nah. Okay, cool. Did, and uh, get them character points. Boom. Did you mention in the I past that you don't that, character that you don't have Netflix? I do not currently. So uh, season two of The Witcher is supposed to be starting up very soon. Oh, good. Um, if you would at all be interested in coming by and like watching the series i mean we could watch uh yeah or, like, or we'll have we'll have you and jen over and uh uh and cook for everybody yeah sure something like that let's see every known level one alchemy formula increase have you picked up uh focus yet under uh uh it's it's one of the brown ones I got Sun Stars, I got Gourmet, and I increased my strong uh, back. So focus. Second row, third column. Atten? That's adrenaline. Uh, second row, third. Uh, no, uh, one more to the right. Focus. Adrenaline points. Sure. The problem is that I don't have any place to put it. You will. Once you level up to 15, you'll acquire a new slot. Oh, good. Cool. Then, uh, yeah. All right, back onto it. And do it. Pull it back and do it. Uh, but yeah, I would like to, uh, uh, everything that I've seen so far from the, from the second season looks very nice. Yeah, and now so... I have a little bit more, uh, uh, investment into the world. Season one of the show is, uh, the short stories and, uh, part of book one and part of book two and then there's like five uh, five books in a and like three collections of short story right? so there's there are five or six books i can't remember exactly how many and then one book of short stories that are considered the core short stories uh, uh all of the other short stories that are out there uh either don't follow Geralt or um they don't it's not established where they fit on the timeline ah. so like if you were trying to read them chronologically uh you can't really tell where they are in the timeline but if if you are going to uh to like do the audiobook or anything like that you should start with uh the last wish the the primary book of short stories you know because I, uh... that, that covers like how did Geralt become the Butcher of Lavakin? It covers uh, when did he and Yennefer meet? You know, I, like all that sort of stuff. I can't really do audio. I mean, e even if you get the the physical book, that's the one you should start with because yeah. it it's the one that covers all of the uh, the introductory stories. Mm. Freaking drowners. Locked key required. Uh, possibly on that body, but you need some air. All right, down we go. Body, give me the key. Oh, okay. Turn, there you go. Cool. Boots. And Ooh, back. and a sword, it looked like. Mm-hmm. Here we go, and let's get out of here before... Okay, quick check on the world map. Boom. Uh, heading up north to do these things, yeah? Yeah. Boop. 
So yeah, one of the difficult things with the uh, the Witcher TV show is keeping track of the time timeline. I noticed that uh, when we watched it. Yeah, um, the uh, the first season, all of the uh, the scenes with Siri uh, are set like. 40 years after most of the scenes that have Geralt and Yennefer. Because, mm -hmm. like, like that, was, that was what I noticed. I was like, wait a minute. We, we already watched something about what's going on. And, like, they, there was no context. So, uh, it was a little bit jarring at first. But we caught it eventually. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at that. You, you kind of, you notice it through things that people talk about. Because, like, uh the the girl in the first episode the one that um that Geralt ends up killing mm. um she mentions that queen calanthe had just won her first battle like that year and queen calanthe is ciri's grandmother in her ah. all of her scenes so you know you have all these uh these characters referring to things that are uh you know decades out of time yeah but since since jerry ages slowly yeah and uh sorceresses basically don't age at all um they mythical, so i, I watched a uh, magical goth hotness i watched a video on uh season two because they just wrapped mm. production on season two they're in post-production right now um they the like shows uh like developers and costume people they admitted that they dropped the ball on uh dandelion um they should have aged him during the uh the season but they they just dropped the ball on it it wasn't something that they had thought right. to do uh and there isn't going to be any more time jumping when they go to the the new season those are all everything that occurs like they might have flashbacks to different yeah. things like, but all the main action will occur at the same time Dandy, dandelion's too popular for the for, a, for them not to just like not show me well yeah but what they need to do is to have him be like grayed up a little bit like give well, no, him no, some just, wrinkle just, just, like, just give make him, him look a little old just give us flashbacks like that's fine you know like oh yeah remember remember that time that we hung out with our boy dandelion deedly, 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 deedly. So just wait until you see Dandelion uh, later on in this game. Um, he looks like he's in his 20s, but at this point in the uh, the like timeline of The Witcher, he's supposed to be in his 60s. Um, but what's really funny is uh, I, I really like the fan theory that uh, because this is Dandelion telling the story, uh, he embellished his own appearance in it. Fair enough. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees, fucking bursting with patriotism they were. I kind of like this guy. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down, tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Yeah, man. Word of bullshit. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. You must allow me to rub your head. Just once. Just a one. One dolphin squeaker up. Let me touch your head. Okay, all right. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it'll be exciting. Uh, and I mean, again, like we've had Netflix in the past, and we can we can pick it up eventually. But uh, we are tightening our belts until uh, uh, until we can get this whole thing to take off. As a dried fish. Nerds. Lit him on fire. Three percent chance, baby. Mm, 
delicious dried fish. Delicious florins. Don't eat gold coins. They tell me what to do. I gotta live my life. They tell me that gold is so valuable. Oh yeah? That's more valuable than food to a starving man. Okay. Got it, got it. We're getting distracted by the leaves. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I can ford across this, right? Yeah, you could swim it. Yeah. There we go. I mean, technically, even when you get to Skellige, you could just I could swim just everywhere. It would take you forever, but you could do it. Also, you would miss whales. You would miss They're jarringly large. This is what I've heard from uh, from friends of mine in the Pacific Northwest. Which is apparently on fire. Bad idea. Hey, boys. Cinematic spin. I always feel so bad whenever I loot these guys and it's like... Yeah, you found, uh, ooh, enhanced Tawny Owl. And it's like, yeah, you found, uh, uh, leather straps, and I'm like, did I just... Did I just murder a bunch of BDSM enthusiasts that have made their way out into the woods to avoid prying eyes? I'm sorry, leather daddies. Look, they drew swords first, I'm it's just true. saying. It's true, but maybe that's their kink? I don't know. They should have yeah, asked but they for, didn't ask they, you yeah, permission they didn't ask for, for consent. That's true. Uh, okay, we're going to save real fast, because I keep accidentally hitting that button. Oop. And then world map, where we are. And nutritionally valuable, says, says Rob. The money can be traded for goods and services. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, $20. Oh, I wanted peanuts. I thought I heard, did you hear a hag? Yeah, I heard. Oh, my eyesight. Okay, so I've also been like scrolling through things on my phone while we have been uh, Yakin. While, while, while we have been talking mm -hmm. and I just saw something that made me internally uh, squee with excitement but at the same time if I talk about it 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 might destroy any reputation that I have with me or just like in general like... I'm, I'm not sure so, uh, I, because we have HBO Max, I get HBO Max ads on my Facebook feed. Mm -hmm. Um, they are doing a reboot of Gossip Girl. Man, I don't have any I'm super context. excited about that. I don't have any context with the show, so I don't think any less of you. I mean, take that statement for what you will. I do have you in my phone as short pants, so, you know. Uh, so, so Gossip Girl is one of my go-to inspiration shows for Vampire the Requiem. <laughs> All right. Because it, it handles the, like, uh, in-group and out-group. The catty out -group and... of vampires. Well, not, not just that, but like the whole, uh, you know, how ostracized groups form their own communities. Um, it's very good at handling like social currency as a thing. Nosferatu, the show. Without being the ultra dramatic uh, Aaron Spelling Kindred the Embraced. You know, the sad thing about that was we never got to see Daedalus just start wrecking. I would have loved to just one. Oh, oh, oh. That's 
Oh. War. Yeah, some swimming. Yay. You know how you love swimming in this game? <sighs> My favorite mechanic is the... Two. And there's a drowner, at least one of them. Dead drowner. What else? Okay. We go. This is like freshly. Get out of the water, Jerry. You don't belong there. You're not a seal. And, uh, Rob, you are right. If somebody ran up to me while I was attempting to get my leather freak on, I, I too would probably be very defensive. <laughs> right. If I had a sword, and let's be honest, I, I would. If I had a sword, I would draw it. Uh, okay. Just a Nilfgaardian outfit. On oh, fiber. Now, I did, uh, uh, I did talk to a, a couple of dudes. Some. Oh, hey, there's a wyvern. Yo. Yeah. What's its level? Uh, green. You can have it. Yeah, I know. I mean, of course, I think that I can handle things that are vastly above my level because I am an idiot. But if it's green, I mean... just just Dark Souls it. You know how it goes. <laughs> Oh, happy dagger. <laughs> the dagger is my penis. I, oh, <clears throat> Christian Minecraft server. I figured that there would be something of that here. Anything else? I apologize to... Uh, I, I want to say there is something here that, like, you can find. Yeah. I just don't know where it is. Diagram. Enhanced Griffin. There you go. That's the thing. Yeah. I apologize to uh, uh, to all of my viewers for the uh, drunk Jerry simulator. Oh, we're holding hands with apple. It's kind of weird, but it's very weird. God rest you, merry gentlemen. I'll light the fire for you. Uh, and we just do. Where are you going to on your map now? Question. I'm gonna go there. Next question mark, that little island? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, but for some reason... It's okay, my marker for fake papers. Told me, no, go to Skeleton. Oh, because I did those uh, other quests and it automatically... Yes. Went. After you do this island, you should definitely go to fake, fake papers. papers next. Oh, okay. Very well. uh, you don't want to uh, go up to like Nilfgaardian territory or uh, Novigrad territory without like crossing the bridge the right way, or else they'll get the guards will get angry. We know what happens when I make the guards angry. They run away screaming. Rot fiends. Light him on fire. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Away. All right. Hmm.
I can appreciate this game's, uh, uh, commitment to making you, like, frantically tap A in order to get all of the loot in an area Doctor, and not, like, showing it for you. Needs to be destroyed. Where is it? Yep. Boop. Well, guys, don't look at explosions. Ah. Let me help you with that, buddy. Cool. Uh, Alright, let's see what else is more stuff about here. Oh, a rusty sword. Trader's Notes. I always thought myself a simple trader, a man who buys here and sells there and makes a bit of coin. What is this? Yep, did that one, did that one, that one, okay. Ah. Hey. Think. Aha. Uh -huh. Actions. Good for me. Blow you up your girl. Uh, there. Oh, nice. Uh, so now fake papers. Yeah. Very well. You're just gonna be defending a group of uh, laborers from some ghouls. See, I'm down with that. And by this point, you're like way over leveled, so Good. the ghouls are gonna go down easy. Yeah. <laughs> Win swiftly. Hey. I'm the Jerry Pat. I'm like a dolphin moving through the water. Now, I've been eating more salads recently, which is a weird thing for me. Apropos of nothing, and segues are weird. I've been eating a lot of salads. I mean, I love salads. They're one of my favorite foods, so... They're, uh, they're not usually for me, so, uh, I'm not gonna say that it's not a bit odd, I'm a bit out of character, but I mean, done well, uh, yeah, great, you know, it's, like, when we go to the store, my wife's like, hey, make sure to get some lettuce for salad, and I'm always like, well, what, what kind of bag of salad do you want? She's like, no, just lettuce, and I'm like, okay, pick up lettuce, and she's like, this is the wrong lettuce, and I'm like, is there a difference between lettuces? There is. There is. This butter lettuce stuff that I tried. Uh, pretty decent for lettuce. So, Jen, uh, one of the the things she makes that I like that's really that's good... Keep going. Uh, ...is... Um, uh, she, she takes... It's like ground beef mixed with a whole bunch of different, like, spices and... Uh, shredded carrots and a bunch of other like um, like uh, uh, vegetables mixed in uh, but then you eat it in lettuce cups and the lettuce we use for the lettuce cups is that like butter lettuce mm. yeah what is a lettuce cup uh, you take the the lettuce and you form it into a cup and then you put all of the mixture of uh beef and vegetables in it and then you kind of eat it that way like a lettuce wrap not like a lettuce wrap uh more like you turn the lettuce into a little bowl but then you also eat the bowl oh. tell you what uh when uh, when you guys come over to watch uh, uh to watch the witcher uh tell me what you need for jen to make that she'll make lettuce cups and i'll cook uh, uh something else sure sounds uh, good We'll have, we'll have a, a culinary, culinary duel. Like, honestly, that was, that was one of the things that I think I probably missed the most during, you know, our, uh, 
uh, during the long shut-in time was I used to have a group of people over at my house at least a couple of times a week and, you know, look up for them. And then the world fell apart. And it was like, well, can't do that. Uh, up notes. Uh, so uh, I look forward to getting back into that on an occasion. With, of course, my fully vaccinated friend. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, Ramen Monday. Yeah. Next Monday, we are... We are... Uh, T minus just, seven days and counting. Just a quick note to the uh, uh, to our uh, our faithful viewers, uh, all of you whom I love. Thank you guys so much for uh, for coming and hanging out. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, next Monday, uh, Fantasy Poland Monday will be another late night Fantasy Poland Monday, as it will be uh, in perpetuity the first Monday of the month, as we reinstitute the time honored tradition of. Ramen Monday. What are you, Stantanarian or Imperial? Okay. Actually, don't be not. Talk to this dude. Just as cool. Yeah. Safe. Then we talk. Eve. Then we talk to What is it? Got work for you. Yo. You look to me eyes like a You have so many right. save files. I sure do. Need for my men to finish their work unharmed. But we got corpse seekers coming out all the while. Rid us of them, and we'll give you a share. Okay. Deal. Mm. Alright. Yeah. There's one. I'm guessing I don't want to go too far from it. Yeah, stay in the area because, uh... Yeah, the ghouls will come to you. They get up there and kill them before they start fighting the people. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? All right. Is there another wave? Yeah, there'll be like three or four waves. Oh, okay. Well, I can't remember. I'll leave that one. He'll still be there when the next one. Hey, buddies. Hey, guys. Fire! Oh, come on, Sneaky Pete. Oh. Don't piss your breeches. I'll take a quick moment to inventory. Make sure make sure our sword is good and oiled. Well, what right. do you want? Maybe you don't need it, but nice. So this place we're gonna be going to next Monday is a uh All a, you can eat Korean um, barbecue. And it's a buffet style, right? Uh, no, it's a. Uh, uh, you tell them what meat you want, they bring it to your table, and you cook it yourself. Okay. So it's table cooking. You ever done it before? Correct. No. What are you staring at? I mean, looking for ghouls, what are you doing? But, uh, yeah, like, the center of the table will be a grill. Uh, hmm. And, uh, yeah, cook food. Uh, do, uh, they, they'll give you, like, rice and, uh, and lettuce that you can use, I guess, to form a lettuce scoop. I wouldn't call it a lettuce cup or a lettuce wrap. Just because I'm being pedantic. Yeah, Jerry. Uh... 
But uh, yeah, it, it's it's delicious. There's all kinds of different meat. You're like, yeah, you know, we're done. We're done with this. I would like the uh, the spicy pork belly now, or the teriyaki chicken. It's a uh, very very good. Hmm. Plus, you know, they'll give you like side dishes, sauces, all that. Uh, it's not quite a hot pot. It's more of a. Uh, it's the. Uh, it's like a table grill, so it's grilled meats as opposed to. Uh, like fondue or hot pot, which are uh, which are simmered meat. So the cool thing is, like you know, if you like, if you get the steak, you can cook your steak to your own sense of doneness. Uh, meanwhile, everything else, you just kind of throw it on and let it get a nice little bit of char on the outside. It's all marinated and it all caramelizes beautifully. It's uh, it's one of my favorite places in town to eat. Okay, so. You okay. did good, Witcher. Thanks for letting me know the quest was done. Your share for your toil. Hmm. Wah. Wah. Always, always blah to me. I'm always premature in my blahing. <laughs> But, uh, I think they make a pill for that. Yeah, it's a it's a great place. Uh, I'm excited for uh, for you to try it for the first time. Uh, we love we like we love taking people there that have never done Korean barbecue before. And there aren't a whole lot of places in town uh, that do the uh, Korean barbecue style. I you mean, can, you can get Korean food, but it's uh it's more like the eating experience, you know. I mean, I, I am definitely down for Korean barbecue because uh, the, like, meat dishes are my favorite part of Korean food. Mm -hmm. Well, with this place, it's like, man, you know, I like Just bul don't, Like, do you like don't bulgogi? Make me kimchi. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you don't of course. Have to you don't have to. But it's like, do you like bulgogi? Good, because you can just get a pile of bulgogi and be like, yes, I will eat this, I will cook it uh, here at the table, and it will be delicious. And then when you're done, you go, I would like some more of this bulgogi, please. And can I also get some of the, uh, uh, can I also get some of the pork belly? Uh -huh. you got stuck on a horse. Dude, we don't know if his parents were. Gary, don't be rude. We can put that away now. Uh, return for the discounted pass. So. Back up to his brother, right? Yep. Cool. When I did that one, his brother ran off like an idiot and got himself killed by a rock bean. So when I came back to this guy, I was like, so we accomplished the mission, but your brother didn't make it. And then he's like, so I'm not giving you a pass. <laughs> already helped him. Right? Yeah, already helped him. What's your offer then? Oh, I think I, I think that's I think I did a side more. quest where I had to pay some use. dude ah, well, like a substantial sum anything. of money, which is why my pockets were so low. But uh, yeah, twenty-five is fine. That's better. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes. All right. Whoa. Save our game. Save over that fake paper. Instead of creating a new a new uh, save slot now that Tom's made me all self-conscious. I cry myself to sleep tonight over my saving inefficiency. All right, let's see. Secondary quest. Blah, 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 blah. The volunteers of Novigrad. On Witcher contracts. Ooh. 
shoes. So the, are we just back on? Uh, do uh, uh, set your thing to the volunteer, and then uh, oh. like uh, Start making if my you go to your way. map, yeah, go to your map, and if you look to the the east to your right on the map, there should be a bunch of like question marks that you can hit up. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple few on the way, so uh, let's start by going to this joint, yeah? Yeah. What about all these up here? We're going to work our way north to uh, this, do, yeah, this joint? Yeah, go ahead and do the uh, the volunteer quest, and then we'll swing back around and hit up all of the little icons on that northern island. Rob. So in chat, Rob just said, did you hear that Final Fantasy IX is getting an animated series? What? what? No, tell me more. This is this is uh, put a uh, send me a link in the comments. Uh, uh, drop me a message. I would like to know about this. Like I think in our in our Final Fantasy playthrough, we're about maybe like a, th a third of the way through like the story of the game but there's a it's still an awful lot to do it's legit um no i mean i i, 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 I don't I'm, i don't I'm, think i don't think that rob would knowingly lie to me he wouldn't toy with my emotions he's a good man uh the series was just announced like a few days ago and they're expecting it won't be released until 2023 now i have a reason to live it sounded a lot darker <laughs> supposed to, but now I have more reasons to live. No, that's incredibly exciting. Uh, I love Final Fantasy IX. Oh, it does like so the aesthetics of the game are really cool, and the cosmology seems really n neat. Well, it was uh, Final Fantasy IX was kind of famously like the last Final Fantasy made by. Uh, the guy who did the work on, I want to say, Final Fantasy uh, uh, 5 and 6, or 4, 5, and 6. Um, like, he, was, he didn't work on 7, he didn't work on 8, uh, but it was the designer for Final Fantasy uh, for Final Fantasy 6. It was, like, his last game. Uh uh, or the, the last Final Fantasy that he developed for school. That's why it feels a lot more like Final Fantasy VI, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, because that, that was what that dude was into. Uh, he liked the more, like, world-sprawling adventure versus, you know, the... Uh, uh, like, the technology or, or conspiracy type stuff. Uh, plus, I think, and the Final Fantasy VII Remake, I have not played. Uh, eat, eat something. Uh, I have not played the Final Fantasy VII Remake yet, because it's uh, it's not out on Steam and I can't find a PlayStation 5. Uh, uh, I mean, it's on PlayStation 4. I have it. Right, um, but I, I don't have a PlayStation 4, and yeah. why would I get a PlayStation also, 4 like, when if, I can just if... wait for a PlayStation 5? Yeah, if, if you don't have it now, I would say just wait until you do have a PlayStation 5 and get it, because the PlayStation 5 version is going to have even more content. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I'm, I'm a patient person. I mean, I've waited six year, or seven years to play this game. So I've I played... I got the Final Fantasy VII Remake on release date mm -hmm. uh, and played it. Um, I I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the active, the more active uh, combat system is very entertaining. Like it's a lot more exciting to play. Um, Dig their way out. Rob, Rob, says, the, uh, Rob says, given that this is a show aimed at young children and tweens from eight to thirteen, you can expect to see a plush toy line. I'm gonna get myself a plush rat wife. <laughs> I will do this thing. 
Let's try it. Uh, okay, give me a second here. I need... I think that was my last bomb. I'm gonna need to meditate. If me meditate when you find a, a thing. Volunteer. Meditate like, when I find what? Like, find a thing you need to blow up. And I have to, like, fight my way to it. Uh, that's yeah. Or I can just, like, sit and watch the sunset. Beautiful grove. Sure. Uh -huh. Um. But, yeah, but, so, dude, uh. A plush, uh. A plush Freya? Yes. I, please. A little tiny, a little tiny Vivi doll? Oh, my God. If they gave me, like, a life-size Vivi doll, I would probably get that. Couldn't get a life-size rat wife doll because I'd be like six foot. And that'd be kind of weird. How thrilling. What I whoa. That is that is fantastic news. Thank you so much, Rob. Alright, here we go. My sword's getting dinged. Can't have a dinged sword. Ooh, trousers. Be still my beating heart. Also known as long pants. Yes. Or just pants. So this castle, you're going to be fighting some bugs. I shall, uh, I shall gird myself in Indrago. Uh, so you're fighting bugs uh, down here, and then when you get up to the top of the little Ooh. castle, it's uh, harpies. Okay. Which I will stop it. Which I will fight with the power of crossbow, I'm assuming. Uh, they land, and you can kill them with your sword, but yeah. yeah. Oh. Nope. Uh, let me double check real quick. Inventory. How are we doing? 44%. Why don't we go on ahead and throw a... on you. How are you doing, steel weapon? 72%. You're fine. Okay. Uh, oils. Insectoid oil. Right. You said bugs in here, and then wrappers. Uh, so bugs in in inside the castle, and uh, harpies up up top. Yep, harpies on the roof. What do harpies get in terms of necrophages? Wait. Nah. Yeah, and and Draga are uh, insectoids, and harpies are necrophages. And later on in the game, you're gonna fight Arax, which are giant spiders, and they are also insectoids. This, you need this invent it call eleven eleven elves, I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't know why it's not translated. Uh Geralt speaks Elvish. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he's walking so Okay. Uh where were we? More puffballs. <laughs> that sounds like it's about time to switch to some necrophage oil. Yep. yep. Always, always oil your blade. You know what I mean. Monster nest. Means I gotta kill these guys and then meditate. Ladies. Oop. 
Got him. <laughs> Lol. Damn, you're ugly. Hey, now that's unnecessary, Jerry. You're already killing him. Gerald. Gerald. Don't put your sword away in the middle of a fight, you dink. Okay, there we go. Yes, thank you. Please to allow please to allow looting. Talents are talents are talents. No idea. I think that other one okay, there we go. Uh alright. Do I have to climb higher to get to their nest? Uh I think it's on that same level. Or yeah, you might have to climb up the ladder. Uh, Man, move over to your right. There's a ladder on that scaffolding. I know, but there's also stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, bah, bah, we got some first class gear. Witcher class diagrams. Right, right, right. Problem is, bah, 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 crook, bah, kill. Here to your play. And this moron drank, uh, drank Witcher potions. Art guy. Or. I can't look. Did I make it? Yeah, I made it. Alright, jump. Uh, well, maybe it's not up here because uh, now it says monster thing down. Our bees <gasps> got their nest here. I do still have a bomb. Oh, guys, don't look at explosions. Mad? Uh, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so now onward to the volunteer, right? There's another, uh, another monster nest along the way. Uh, heading next. I'm gonna go on ahead and meditate real quick. You know, just for, just for an hour. Uh, and then uh, we're going to take a quick break so that I may use the facilities and get some more ice. And uh, when we get back, more Witcher uh, Fantasy Pole on Monday, Witcher 3. So back in just a flash. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Back in a bit. Woo!
And we are back. All right, meditation over. Uh, nine o'clock in the evening and raining. Onward to the volunteer. Probably a stupid idea for me to jump down. Stupid idea. Tempting. Tempting. Can I hard this out of the way? No. Uh, I mean, look at it with your Witcher sight. If it glows, then you could, but if it doesn't, then you can't. Three out of ten Storm. game design. Damn it. Basically unplayable. <laughs> Am I gonna get struck by lightning? Uh, no. No, it's not a thing that happens. I, I don't. L let me rephrase that. I don't think so. I, I don't remember. It's never happened to me, but that's not to say that it can't happen. It's uh, flashbacks to Breath of the Wild, where it was like, oh no, it's raining. Why? I got. I is, gotta get out of here. Is there still a, a like monster nest symbol on your thing? Uh, or is it gone? I mean, it, it's gone from this one. It's grayed out. Okay, then you're you're good for this place. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta go to the next monsters now. Scary thunder. Oh. Probably be faster for me just to follow the road, won't it? Where we're going, we don't need roads. The roach suddenly just flies off. I feel like this game got really weird really fast. I loved all the memes when this game first came out before they patched Roach. Oh, yeah. Where, like, you would summon him and he would just be, like, on top of someone's house. <laughs> That's a good horse. <laughs> because he was, uh, when when the game first came out, they had him programmed that he would uh, spawn within like X number of feet of you, mm. but they didn't think that they would need to program in. He would only spawn on the ground. Right. So <laughs> on top of a house, on top of a barn, top of a wall. Awesome. And just looking at you like, what do you expect me to do? <laughs> I got, I got hooves. Unless you got a nice, light, nice sloping set of stairs, uh, you're gonna have to come up and get me, pal. Oh good, alchemy. It's, I think it's tastier than regular paste. Alchemy paste. Man, animated Final Fantasy IX. The rat, the rat wife hype is completely real. Hello, I would like to loot that thing, please. Okay. John, when's your birthday? Uh, September. I know what I'm getting you. I mean, is it a tombstone? I turned 40 this no. year. No, I'm getting you a rat wife plushie. <gasps> they sell them on Etsy. I'm getting you one. Gasp. Oh, man. Freya is just the best character. She's tragic. For those who haven't, uh, who haven't seen Final Fantasy IX's story before, Pardon me. Uh, for those who haven't seen Final Fantasy IX story before, uh, I, I do it most Fridays. Uh, uh, varying times, depending on whether or not I'm running another game at that point. But uh, come and watch, because it is one of the best stories in video games, in my opinion. No, no, they wouldn't. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't turn Steiner into a... Uh, uh, into a douchey German impressionist, they wouldn't have the balls. <laughs> nest needs to be destroyed. 
I, I do have to comment on your stream of Final Fantasy IX, the voices that you do for all of the characters kill me. Especially the Moogles. So, like, <laughs> the, the first time you did the Moogle voice when I was standing there, like, I was in the middle of drinking something the first time you said Coupeau, and I <laughs> choked. I was like, John, you literally almost murdered me. That's that's my that's my goal is to kill uh, <laughs> kill most of my friends through just god awful snagglepuss impressions. <laughs> if that's what's written on my tombstone, he murdered at least one person by saying "coupeau," then uh, uh, maybe that's my purpose in life, right? Yeah. Also the. <laughs> The German accent you do for Steiner. Yeah. <laughs> we are nihilists. We believe in nothing. Give us the money, Lebowski. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and make our way to there, and then the volunteer, let's look around the area. N16, in the rain. I mean, that's the wild thing, right? Like, uh, when I graduated, uh, when I graduated high school, I wanted to be an actor. So that's what I studied for a, a decade, uh, you know, throughout my first run at college. Uh, I don't know what it would take to get into voice acting, and I don't know if I'm, like, like too old to begin that journey, but, uh, it's just, like, a joy for me, you know? Like, I'm talking funny voices all the time. I mean, I'm hoping within uh, the next month or two to throw some money your way so for some voice acting for Orpheus. Yeah, to... What's up, my dude? I'm, I'm just gonna stay quiet and let you converse. Here, Redania Camp Army! No cross, no... Don't steal! Redanian army? Where are you hiding them? In... in here! Me! No see mans? Join me! King Rabotid army! I like him. Order God. God boats is. Hmm. Boats are in pretty bad shape. Me! God boats, Red say. But no wood for to make a uh, fence. I mean, I, he's clearly but sentient, but I, I wouldn't consider him intelligent. So me, fence, <laughs> make a boat. Boat, God, boat. I really like him. <laughs> I think this is my new favorite Why dude. Why do you join me on Someone recruit you? Good? No good. Come good soldier man. Say soldier man. Wants <laughs> boats. Peasanters, they steers. Peasant's boats. That's not so long ago. Don't know. <laughs> Think I do. Redanian seized some peasants' boats. Thought the peasants might try to take I them really back. I really like him back. <laughs> what happened next? Just a little go. Soldier yeah. drink and sing. Not sing. Listen, troll. Both. Come, peasants. Swing sharpie sticks. I following so help far. What army? Runner to runner. Holler peasanters. Holler soldier mans. Gentle. He, he accidentally killed, them, killed a lot of people, didn't but he? All light down, soldier mans he was trying to help. But order had me watch boats. And what's I? Trollolo soldier man now. Trollolo, I cannot sing kill you. Too. You for sing you? No thanks. The They're parts good. in this game when you but encounter non-feral trolls you. are some of my Hungry favorite though. parts in the game. Should no waste. Peasant is good food. Soldier man friends. Not so good big <laughs> stew. Always good. I mean, he only ate them after they were already dead. Yeah, yeah. got it. Wartime <laughs> rules. Yes, I, I understand. Wartime rules. Men's 
Soldier Man 2? Uh, no. Tra -la -la -la. Makes man soldier man. I've just been recruited in the Tra -la -la. controls of service. Sergeant yes. Man. I like him. Say, <laughs> and man breathe paint. Uh, paint? What are we talking about? <laughs> paint! Paint! Red colory? White colory? City cuts? No city <laughs> right? Code. Lou Ferrigno, is that you? What's boats? Trollolo, I think just so boat. happens I have some paint on me. Oh! 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 Uh oh. Hmm. You okay, what's the matter? Has paint? What? How? Don't know. Hmm. Might be a problem. Man's how no! I order! He, he has does. paint, but he doesn't know how to paint. <laughs> I guess I do. Depends what. Birdo cutlery! Redania Birdo! Shields light! He just wants a costume. Yeah, man. Guess I can give it a shot. Got a brush? I love him. And look at this thing that I made him. Think so? As long as you're happy with it. Man's good. No, that other man take shoes. One of the best quests in the entire game. <laughs> You're incredible, my dear. <laughs> there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna light some candles for you, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy your songs, my god. Yeah, now he just, he stands there singing troll songs for the rest of the game. You and can come back here all the way at the end. He's still just standing there, guarding, guarding boats, his boats, singing his troll songs. singing troll songs. <laughs> that's, that's great. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, quests. What do we got? We got Pyres of Novigrad. I think that's Pyres of no Novigrad, I'm pretty sure, unless you want to go do Fists of Fury. I want to do Fists of Fury. Uh, let me double check on our treasure hunts. Novigrad, 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 Novigrad. We'll do all that one. Uh, and let me double check my Witcher contracts. Those are all in the mid-20s. Higher. Yeah, I think Fist of Fury will be the next one that we do. And then the, it'll be uh, about time to start moving to that northern island. And that's Novigrad, right? Uh, so go to your map. Yeah. And zoom out all the way. Whoop. So Novigrad's that big red city to the north. Yep, that one. Yeah, so that island just to the south of it. Oops. Um yeah, that whole area is considered Novigrad territory, but you should be able to hit up everything on that little island and uh cool. um you know, knock out some bandit camps and places of power and I've got a you monster, know, nets and stuff got a like monster that. Monster den right there. Uh, we'll save that for the next time. Should I? So I'm gonna go hit these things then. Oh uh, yeah, you can sure. Cool. Let me pop. Oop. You want to just knock knock out that one that's Oop. right to the north of you? Yeah. First, I want to pop down a custom marker at this. Uh... Oop. Make sure and... you don't miss it. Yeah. And then I want to put a regular marker. This one north. Don't know why I put one there, but let's go there as well. Yeah. There's a treasure. Yeah. Cool. You should be able to do all that stuff in this little swampy area. Yeah. We still got like another 20 minutes before uh, uh, before my wife's on her way home, and uh, that should be a good a good time for it. What a player! Ah! Come on! Tell you what, why don't I make this? Quicker for you with a little bit of demand venom.
How you doing, Battle Axe? There you go. Thanks for coming out, bandits. Now, that is something that I have that I have grown to enjoy in uh, in the new sort of like post-COVID uh, life, right? My wife gets off work at ten, uh, so she's usually home by like ten fifteen or ten thirty. Uh, if she's not, you know, like already home because working retail means that your shift constantly changes and they don't believe that giving you stability would help their bottom line. Yeah, uh, exactly. Ooh, a new marker. Yeah, that's what Unsent letter. My dear papa. The wedding's over. It's done. It didn't go all go exactly like I'd imagined as a little girl, but, well, you've always taught me to make the most of what I've got. We're traveling now, so I'll send this letter soon arrive. Uh, let's see, the jewelry box isn't it. She took it as a dowry. Kurt, are you calling that good Disney's my husband? Nope, nope. Uh, okay, cool. And Witcher George's confession. Hmm. Artist lot of love. Weird. Local hooligans. Okay, so that's the thing at Crookback Hill. New quest, dowry. Uh, by the way, speaking of local hooligans, uh, -oh. uh with all of the, uh, the, uh, like, fan-made stuff for, uh, Blades in the Dark that I found, uh-huh. One of the new uh, fan-made gang types that you can play is uh, Roof Ballers, uh, which is you are a team of uh, athletes competing in uh, Dusk Vol's most popular sport, Roof Ball, uh, which is... As described, a combination of rugby and hardcore parkour, uh, where the primary rule is do not touch the ground. I'm going to run away from this or try to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I didn't even see the level. I think it said question mark, question mark. And it's a skull. Yep. Uh, okay. So, yeah, maybe you can't do that one. But we can find another one for you to do. Way to mislead me, Tom. You should mark it with a red thing. Oop. Okay, so I'm. Uh, but you should be able to hit up that treasure that's further north, though. Should I? Yeah, just circle around. Go like straight out from where you are right now, and mm -hmm. then kind of curve around to the north. Get around past it. It's, the big, still, the big it's, monster. Still, it's still screaming an awful lot, and I hate <laughs> that. Away, sleep. I can't see the map because it's behind your head. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, well, I mean, we'll we'll deal. Uh, oh, there's another chest there. On the in the. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. I got a grabby ghoul. Oh, nobody is impressed. I have no idea. No. Uh, hit the dodge or roll or climb. I can't, I can't do that right now. Oh no. It's your worst enemy in the game. 
bad pathing. Put your sword away. Yeah, Can you try rolling? In clearly not very far. Uh, put your sword away, and this guy gets all of my steez. Alright. Now maybe you can climb out. Yeah. Horse. Roach. Roach, help your brother out. Oh my god. <laughs> try the try the button you normally There you go. Try, try the button you normally use for dodging, and that should be the one that will let you climb up on the edge. I'm trying, but all I've managed to do so far was to do a very shallow swim. Ah, uh, there you go. Nope, nope, nope. there's two of them. <laughs> if you could get up on that little ledge and then you could just walk. Yeah, one would think. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna save here. And then we're gonna try to load. And see if it gets me out of the bump. Wounded and tired, <laughs> Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her. There's just enough space for you to do a single breaststroke and then back into the hole you go, Jerry. Like the thing, like Jerry takes a long bath, soaks up to his neck, and is just like, this is how I die. Get out of there we go. Okay. Save game again. Thank you. Annual save slot. Resume. Uh, all right, where are we? World map. Uh, we're heading down this way. Doing all the oxen first. Uh, now, if this is white, does that mean that I've already gotten all the quests there? Yes. Cool. Yeah, it uh, would be like gold colored if it had more. Dope. That's not that's not to say there might not be quests if you just go running through the town. You might find like a uh exclamation point. Yeah, but we'll do that. Um later. yeah. Like I'm I'm certain there's something neat here, wherever that is. Uh you'd be surprised. Uh I wanna say the only thing that's there is a fast travel. Oh. oh. Um because that's like a it's it's like a trading post. I did. Uh, I did do that quest where I had to kill that those dudes. Uh, that dudes all god. Get this one. Or is that the one with the big monster? That's the one with the big monster. Got it. Were you gonna go to the one that's further up north? Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what you were originally going to do before uh -huh. you reloaded. Yeah. Oop. Just don't run into that giant monster. Oh, the battle axe. Okay. Now we're back on track. Dude, I, I just I just want more quests where where I can listen to a troll tell me about how the military. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, I heard a hag. Like, I can imagine Geralt being very entertained by the idea that I just got drafted into the Redanian army by a troll. By a troll, yeah. Like, you know... <laughs> you know... I'm just going to roll with it, because, uh... 
Okay, I'll take a thick club one point. Cool battlefield loot. Cool tag. Damn. Cool. Mm. Oh, damn. Ma'am. Ma'am. Mm. Side, but I think that's just leading me to wherever the monster is, right? Uh, I think so. It might also be part of another, like... Oh, there's, uh... Destroy those barrels and you'll be able to get at that chest. There we go. That's the battlefield loop. Okay, world map. Um, we'll put it down there. Now is when we call horse friend. Onward. Oh, what up, big guy? Yeah, go ahead and put the board away. And ah. Uh. Yeah, we'll just one. <laughs> I'm tired of the swamp and its tiny, tiny little puddles and ponds. Okay. Wee. Camera's off, so we run. Wee. Wrong way. Okay, bridge. Yeah. Okay. He does not like that, so uh, thank you for your service, Roach. Could have made that if you put the effort in, you coward. Roach is like, I don't get paid to risk my life. <laughs> nah, dog. Tell you what, I'm gonna chill here. I'll let you hoof it the rest of the way. Call me when you get to the other side. Great, great. There, I do not care. There. Uh, here we go. This is not something I expected. Where am I? There's a quest here. Might as well hit it up. Just don't die. Right. Here to eat some honeycomb just in case. What up, my dude? I'm just gonna. Not another step, or there'll be one corpse more. I will Listen, burn down I this entire outpost. Behind you. If you think I'm gonna fall for, oh, you fucker. This is the non-trolls, yeah. Or I don't know. These are just ghouls, right? Oh, boy, sorry. Yeah, these are the ones that you need to use the uh, the mind control on if they pop their, their uh, spikes out. Like that one just did. There you go. 
Oh, you old fucker. Yep. Ooh, some, that dude had some sapphire. Good for him. Good eye to you. Good eye. Good eye, good eye. Random Australian here in Fantasy Poland, but, you know, hey. What are you gonna do? Ooh, there's all kinds of goodies in here. Like water. Totally normal. Against feline gauntlet. Excellent. Look at all these mushrooms. Algals must have been as balls. Really high ball. Oh, workers' notes. Eight. Hey. In the very least, we've got a Dwarven Spirit, which can also be used as our uh, strong alcohol. Alongside Alkali. Yeah, I'd say, all oh, in all, a solid win. All right. And a new fast travel point. New fast travel point. Uh, let's take a look at the world map real fast. No fast travel, unless I want to go to the western gate, so we'll continue onward. Yep, down the road and hit up that next location. That I probably have. Uh, I think it curves around. There's the stairs. Yeah! Architecture, way to go, guys. Well done, Radonians. You start something. Uh -huh. I heard you coming from behind me. Thought you was clever. Cool. I mean, I guess I can always use the parts for alchemy stuff. your friends. Jerry too, sir. <laughs> Or the way here. Or back out. <laughs> you had to be insistent, huh? That guy followed you for a distance. That's, a, that's why I was shocked. I was like, oh. Oh, he's spoiling. Okay, okay. So now you gotta find the entrance to this place. You might be able to jump in. I did. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Stonecutter Settlement. The... Uh, the Secret Society from The Simpsons? Uh, no, I think in this case they are actual Stonecutters. We do. We do. Right, cool. So Stonecutter Settlements, they got like a merchant or something? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. What are you? It's a map marker. That's pretty much it. Hey, yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, whoops. I stole some water in front of the guards. Hey, you choked to death on three pounds of steel. Honor in the fatherland. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, this place is a bit buzzkill, so, uh... Yeah, Jerry out. People don't deserve Stay out of my way. Consider me out of your way. Alright. 
Hello, random loot. Those repair kit. I've been making sure to buy the repair kits whenever I find them. Just so I can do my own on the road repairs and stuff. I'm to truck back to it. Now. Ooh. Boom. All right, new marker in sight. Pour it out there, Jerry. There you go. Actually, my bird apparently wasn't that bad. Cause that's a. Old S Jerry smiles and a job well done. Hey, I'm fifteen. Woo! Give to me the bits, please. Excuse me, I'm just going to take these monster. And then I would like to talk Great to you, game. sirs, and your goofy glasses. All right. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Let's see. Has it got anything good? Pools, parsley. Any of the things that I... No. Of money. To me. Ooh, that's better. Faith. I can sell that for all the money that he has. Sell that for some of the money that he has. I'm gonna get rid of my rid of my money. Yeah. Corn, rusty corn. And if I'm not mistaken, I have now completely ruined this dude's entire economy. Mm -hmm. Cool. 707. Oh, get wrecked. Alright. That'll do. Here we well. well. Douche nozzle. And I think, let me double check here, world map. Yeah, I think that is as good a place as any. Uh, we will hit the rest of these next Monday on more Fantasy Poland Mondays. Uh, we'll hit these, do a quick loop-de-loop -loop around, and uh, make our way finally to Novigrad. So uh, I have to figure out a clever... Novigrad based pun. So I've got a week to do that. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It is always a pleasure to hang out with you. And uh, uh, I understand you guys could be doing anything else. Instead, you're hanging out with me. And I think that's super cool. Uh, tell all of your friends, tell all of your family. We're looking for more subscribers. I'd love to do this as a job someday. So find a way to convince YouTube to give me money. Uh, take it easy. Be safe out there. Don't forget, money isn't real. You're more valuable than your employers tell you about it tell you that you are we'll see you guys next time uh tomorrow tom what time are we uh hitting the wastelands how's one sound one sounds phenomenal so tomorrow 1 p.m central time uh tom and i are going back into borderlands because we still have a lot of game to get through before we even get to the sequels uh and as the cage the elephant song said there ain't no rest for the wicked so uh i don't know if i'd consider us wicked but we're at the very least a pair of jackasses and that's close enough so uh, tune in tomorrow. Make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you uh, uh, that you like the videos uh, that I upload. Comment on them uh, if you can. That'd be fantastic. And uh, yeah, tell everybody you know. I'll even chat with your grandma. She seems cool. I'll see you guys next time.